Hey, how's it going guys? I am Josh from 91 Tech and this is a bit of a low effort video because I'm actually leaving for vacation in like a few hours, but I want to talk about the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak that just came out. If you're on an iOS device from iOS 11.2 to iOS 11.3.1, you are now officially able to jailbreak, finally. We've been waiting for this for a very long time and I am very excited to do it myself. That said, should you actually jailbreak? That's a whole nother question. So that's what I'm quickly gonna answer for you guys. First off, I am fairly experienced with jailbreaking. I've done it for years. Some of my fondest memories on an iOS device is having my iPod Touch back in 2014 or 2015 on iOS 8 completely jailbroken. Those were great days. I actually stayed on iOS 9 for like an extra six months before updating because I wanted to stay jailbroken. I've always been kind of an advocate for jailbreaking. I think not only is it a lot of fun, but I think it allows for a lot of options Apple should have straight out of the box anyway. So that said, just because I like it doesn't mean that you should do it. I'm going to say right now, for most people, you should not jailbreak, especially because this is very new and very unstable. I, technically, right now when I'm recording this audio, by the time I post this video, I might be jailbroken, but right now I'm not actually jailbroken. I've tried, I've tried about 20 times, but the app keeps crashing on me every single time. Why is this? I'm not exactly sure. I've tried lots of things, I've, uh, I'm on Reddit, I'm trying to figure this out, and I will, but what I'm saying is that it's a very unstable exploit right now. Might be a good idea, in the very least, to wait, like, a couple couple weeks to see where things are at. So that's the first thing. I'm just gonna come out and say if you've jailbroken before, you probably should jailbreak again. I don't see why not. You probably know what you're doing, and hopefully you have enough experience to avoid corrupting your phone. But if you haven't jailbroken before, then I'm going to say you probably shouldn't. And here's why. If you're going to jailbreak, prepare for problems galore. You are going to have crashes. You are going to have to reboot your phone. You are going to have to delete tweaks that are breaking everything on your phone, and you're gonna have to figure out which one that is you are going to have a lot of problems. That is almost a guarantee with jailbreaking. That's just what happens. Apple is not going to help you. This pretty much voids any warranty you have. If you go into Apple and try to get them to fix something and they notice you're jailbroken, if the Apple employee cares and is doing his job properly, then he will not fix that phone. If you have sensitive personal data on your phone, it might not be a good idea, such as banking information. If you download the wrong tweak from the wrong source, you could get malware and they could steal your stuff. That would be really bad. If you were rely on your phone very heavily, and you can't have things go wrong in certain situations. Do not jailbreak. Your battery life probably will get a lot worse because you're going to have tweaks in the background running that you normally wouldn't have. But if you have a backup device, maybe an old iPhone or an iPad booting around or something, and you have some time on your hands and just kind of want to play around with things, then jailbreaking is fun. It is really fun to do, and so in that case, I don't see why not. But for most people, I would say I would not recommend doing this on your main driver. A spare device is a completely different story. If you feel like you can deal with all of this, and just take the proper precautions. Don't download tweaks from unknown sources. Always have a ton of backups of your phone just in case and understand that things can go wrong. If you can do all those things, then I think jailbreaking might be a fine option for you. Now, obviously this is a real quick general look at it, but I mean, you probably already know whether or not you should jailbreak. If you're someone who is experienced or wants to learn and feels like they are in a position that they can do that, then go for it. It's a lot of fun. Although again, I will reiterate that for most of you, I would say wait a couple weeks just so a lot of the bugs are kind of fixed and then jailbreak. And that's it for this video. Again, I'm sorry. I got to get going here. I do have some videos coming out soon, so don't worry about that even though I'll be gone. If you enjoy my content, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more just like this. Jailbreak is a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to playing around with it when I get back. And with that all being said, maybe follow me over on Twitter, Instagram. That'd be pretty cool of you. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.